Miss Bookshelf. I'm Mel Roshi. Well, today I'm going to be interviewing Adrian Lordy, and he wrote this amazing book. It's called Zoe and the I Can't Monkey. I'm going to do an interview for on him, and if, if you would like to buy the book, you can click on the link below. Or you can go on Amazon and just type Zoe and the I Can't Monkey. So I also did the review on this book a few days ago. And, well, you can also check that out. It's also in the description below. And, well, I think I got to get ready. So, hi. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me, Ariel. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So I have a few questions, and the question is, how you how did you come up with the character Zoe? So the character Zoe is actually based on my daughter. Her name is Zoe as well, and I wrote this book for her when she was learning how to ride a bike. We basically went through the same issues that uh, Zoe in the book had. She was having the same problems, and we decided to, or I decided to write a story for her and read it to her every night so that she would kind of start saying yes I can to herself and once she started doing that she started having more confidence and uh, started riding her bike. Hmm. So have you ever heard the I can't monkey in your own mind? Yes absolutely I think most people kind of deal with that on a on a daily basis uh, myself personally I um, you know, I get nervous and I second guess myself and it does happen. Well, sometimes I just have to tell myself that, you know, sit down, wait it out, think about it and tell myself that I can do it. And that the worst thing that could happen is, is that you fail and then you have to just try again. So are you going to write more books? I am planning on writing more books. Right now I'm working on the second book, which is going to be a little bit more about feelings and big feelings and how to manage big feelings. Um, so uh, Poso, the, the I Can't Monkey, will be in the second book. He's going to be helping Zoe to uh, get over her fears, but then she's going to kind of meet her, her second buddy or stuffed animal uh, or stuffy who is going to be a, called the Feelings Giant. And yeah. they're going to work together to help Zoe learn how to get over uh, or how to manage big emotions and big feelings. Okay. So do you like to read? I do like to read. I like to read my books on Audible. So I like to listen to my books. I find it a little bit easier, but I like to read as well. I'm a big children's book fan. My favorite are Dr. Seuss books. I love the rhyming and the silliness in the Dr. Seuss books. And my, my favorite Dr. Seuss book is actually uh, Scrambled Eggs. Yeah. Scrambled Eggs Super. That's my favorite one. <laughs> that sounds funny. So, like, so, like, would you say that you like adult books better or children's books better i love reading books with zoe so i would have to say i probably enjoy reading children children's books more because mm. i get to share that time with uh with zoe she reads every single night in bed with uh with me and her mom and she we sit down and we she reads us uh, at least one chapter of of a new book every night or a, a chapter of a book every night and uh, we've been reading books with her since uh, pretty much actually since she was born. Does she ride her bike now? She does ride her bike. She's on two wheels. And actually, mm -hmm. two weeks ago, she was uh, teaching uh, one of her friend's little sisters how to ride a bike on two mm -hmm. wheels. She's learning. So Zoe was putting that into practice and kind of telling her friend's little sister, yes, you can. You can do it, Kendall. And uh, so she was learning. Mm-hmm. So, like, Zoe literally inspired you to create books, right? Yes, she did. Do you, do you always want to be an author, or did you want to be something else as a child? So, when I was really young, I did want to be an author, and my parents were a little bit worried that, as an author, I might not make much money. So, I established a career uh, first, so that I had money, and I was making money, and I you know, could establish myself and my family. And I decided to follow my dream now and publish 
Zoe and the I Cat Monkey, and I decided I'm going to keep uh, following that dream and keep publishing books. That's great. So, do you enjoy riding your bike outside? I do. I don't ride my bike very often. I kind of mm-hmm. walk next to Zoe or run next to Zoe while she rides her bike, and we walk our dog, and uh, her and her and uh, myself and her mom walk to, walk next to her while she rides her bike. Although now that she's getting older, she's uh, getting a little bit faster than we can keep up with her, so it's <laughs> it's harder. So like he can she can give you like a real challenge or race and stuff. Like yeah, that. sometimes she asks me to run next to her. So mm-hmm. mm, that's nice. So what was like your goal to establish with this book? So um, ultimately, my goal with this book was definitely to try and help other kids learning how to ride their bike, and then at the same time. So Zoe was born very, very early. So she's what's called a micro preemie. So we're also donating one dollar from each book that we sell to the NICU or the neonatal intensive care unit where she was born. So every book that we sell, we donate one dollar from uh, from the sale of the book to the NICU. So we we decided that we would try and help in that way as well. That's very nice. Thank you. So, would you say that? Well, did you like ever have a favorite stuffed toy or something? I did have a favorite stuffed toy. Um, when I was really, really, really young, it was a pink hippopotamus. Mm. And then when I got a little bit older, I used to love Curious George. So mm. my parents got me a Curious George uh, stuffed animal. He was about uh, this big. Mm. And I used to carry him everywhere, and he got kind of old, and you know, lost an eye, and he yeah. got kind of a little bit worn down. But yeah. Zoe has him now, and she she still sleeps with him in in her bed. Her whole bed is covered with stuffed animals. She almost doesn't have space to sleep in it, but <laughs> she loves them, so we we let her do it. Yeah. Here, I have a tip for Zoe. Just put just put all the stuffed animals in a pile and sleep on top of them. Just like rock it into that. It's so comfy. I've tried before. Perfect. I'll give her that tip definitely. Did you ever believe that stuffed toys were real? Because I have before, and I keep on arguing with myself about that. Yeah. When I was younger, I used to, you know, imagine them coming to life and talking with them, and them talking back to me. And <laughs> that's kind of where the idea of the the you know. Uh, the I can't monkey comes from is that you know stuffed animals coming to life and helping mm-hmm. you through hard times and helping you through um, you know difficulties that you're going through. Is the reason that you chose Poso as a monkey is is that because of um, Curious George, your favorite toy? It isn't, but it would have been a good idea. The reason I chose. Also, was because of having a monkey on your back, the meaning of the uh, of that saying, and you know, kind of getting the monkey off your back, and that's kind of what Zoe does in the book. So, <laughs> I I chose a monkey for that reason. You know, it's kind of funny if you think about it. There's a monkey on your shoulder, and you're trying to get it off, but it won't get off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would you say that like the purpose of your book? Is like to inspire people to read and write and to get rid of the I can't monkey. Absolutely. So um, I always wanted to help people and inspire people. So I thought that writing was a great way to do it. And writing this book was, or publishing this book, because I wrote this story quite a while ago. I I wrote this story about three years ago. And I only decided to publish it now because I was, you know, I figured it was a good idea and it was time to do it. And I wanted to follow my dreams. And uh, Zoe really inspired me to do that. Would you say there are like any other series that you're gonna write? Like I don't know, like a reverse order with Poso as the human and Zoe as a monkey? <laughs> Not that I know of, but you never know. I mean, we never know what the future holds. So it's it's always a possibility. Right now, I'm. I'm working on this series of Zoe and, and her stuffies, so it's going to be you know more and more stuffed animals, and maybe we'll have a book for each one in her bed. So hmm. who knows where it'll lead? So like maybe in the in the last book you can do when she has a huge stuffed animal party, but then there's a mystery, and then one of them go missing. 
That's a great idea. I'm going to keep that idea in mind. Mm.